Hey guys, Jack Scalfani here. It's the comment show and things are crazy. I've been so busy this week. Uh, I look tired, but I'm not. I'm just like wiped. Uh, we've been filming and editing and I've been traveling to Hollywood on a secret project I can't even tell you about right now. What I can tell you is that Jack Jr. just did a video today uh, that I helped him film. It's called the, I think it's the Ice Cream Maker or Ice Cream Magic, Magic Ice Cream Maker or something like that, uh, where you shake it up and it turns into ice cream. So you'll be really happy with that review. We did that today, and he's just getting so big. He's all grown up. I'm getting all sad. Uh, he's a big boy. Uh, I also know that you're looking at the office behind me and what a mess this room is. I got a computer back there and uh, just, uh, just tons of stuff. I got to clean this place, but I have no time. So since I have a few minutes, though, let's get to your questions right now. These are questions from Facebook, uh, from Twitter, from Google+. Plus from my website, The Best Sauces, and from YouTube. So let's get started. Uh, let's see, the first person is Licky1. Is it me or do you have a new profile picture? Yes, Licky1, what happened was somehow, some way along the way, Google Plus merged with YouTube and they took the profile picture that I was using on Google Plus and threw it on YouTube and I didn't change it. So yes, it's been changed, but not purposely. There was no reason that I didn't like the other one I was using. Joe Ditzler and PDL1 ask, did you see it in your pan like the instructions said? Uh, that's funny because you guys know I don't read instructions and I did not know I was supposed to season the organic pan. But ironically, I cooked big, fatty, greasy burgers the first time in the pan to test it out, remember in the video? And that grease and the oil and everything, uh, I accidentally seasoned the pan. So it all works out nice. <laughs> Sorry. Burns Can Cook. Another great question from Burns Can Cook. Just saw a commercial for their pancake pan. Basically, it's two pans hinged together so you can flip pancakes or eggs. He's talking about the brand new Orgreenic Flipjack. And I just purchased it. I saw it the same day he asked this question. So uh, I bought it. I'll be reviewing it. I'm not sure how that's going to work out because like when you flip the whole thing over, the other side's cold. So well, it's going to be really interesting to see if the pancake runs all over the place. Aurorified, why did you end the video so quickly? Bite, you nailed it. High five, didn't even show a close-up of the lasagna cupcake. Uh, I wanted to see all that deliciousness. So I am so sorry, Aurora Five. Uh, Aurorified, excuse me. Uh, the Final Cut King, Zach, had to go back to the studio, and I was already bothering him enough having him come over to my home and film that I was trying to help him move along so I didn't take up too much of his time. He was so awesome. The lasagna cupcakes came out perfectly. And yes, I did send some home with him and his roommates so they could chow down on them. So I promise more close-ups, more deliciousness on the camera. I promise. Let's see, Sim Lover 0 What's the oven temperature in Celsius? Okay, Sim Lover 0 If you ever wanna know what Celsius is for any of the Fahrenheit temperatures, just punch it into Google, because that's all I do. So uh, put it in Google. They'll do any conversions you need. Uh, Google's awesome. So let me know. If that doesn't work out, I'll do it for you. But uh, you shouldn't have a problem. Uh, Google's awesome. And thanks for the kind words. They were amazing. They looked beautiful. We were very happy with the lasagna cupcakes. Uh, let's see here. Squishy long fist. Hmm. Don't even want to know what that means. Uh, I don't understand one thing. What happened to the wonton wrappers? Did they just disintegrate or something? They were there. They kind of, uh, not crystallized, but they're so thin and the, and the juices from the sausage and the sauce and everything uh, kind of made them kind of see-through. But they're there. They're awesome. And in fact, the very tops of the wonton wrappers got real crispy. So it gave a little crunch factor. It's so good. You guys got to try it. In fact, I'm blown away. There was like seven of you that cooked it the day the video came out. You like ran to those cupcake tins and just started stuffing them with stuff. It was awesome. Uh, I got another question. It is Isaac, uh, Isaac da Daza, Daza? He writes me and says, where did you get the wonton wrappers? Now that was kind of hard to find. Here's where you're gonna look. Go to your supermarket and I found them in the deli area. They're in a little, you saw the package in the video. They're right next to where tofu is sold. So like there's ricotta cheese, you're gonna get the cheese and the, there's your cold cuts and somewhere near that area you're gonna see uh, tofu 
and some sometimes fresh pasta that's in the cooler and the packages. But then there'll be the wonton wrappers. Try to get the small square ones and cut the corners. All right, so keep them going. We're answering your questions all over. Uh, be ready, more product reviews coming. The nicer dicer. Uh, oh, and this Tuesday, you ready for this? I have another international dish coming. It's called Descada. And I go over to a friend's house who teaches me. It's a northern Mexican dish. And it is so delicious. I can't wait to show you guys. It's this Tuesday. Be ready for that video. In fact, I've asked all my Mexican friends. They've never heard of it. So it's, a, it's from like the Durango area. Anyway, you'll get more of that on Tuesday. Enjoy. You guys take care. And I'll see you on the next episode. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.